If you want to know how to prepare for your first cruise, go ahead and hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe. That way, when I go live, you will see me first. My name is Nicole Harris. I am an independent travel agent. I help moms and dads create life freedom online. And like I said, this video is how to prepare for your first cruise. If you are a first time cruiser, you guys, what you wanna do is when you're preparing for your first cruise, you wanna make sure that you have all your um, travel documents in order. That's your passport, um, your license, your social security card, all that so you can be protected. You wanna make sure that you have that especially when traveling abroad abroad excuse me <laughs> abroad um when traveling abroad because you, you want to make sure that wherever you're going whether you're going to the caribbean or mexico or whatever you want to make sure that you are a u.s citizen or if you're traveling to the bahamas or anything like that and it's good to show them who you are when you get on the cruises you also want to make sure you guys that you contact your banks and get local currency and let your banks know that you're going on vacation, especially if you decide to use your debit card. Let me tell you a funny story that happened to me one time. When I went on my first cruise, I used my debit card, but when I traveled to the Bahamas, I forgot to tell my bank that um, I was going in the Baham to the Bahamas. I tried to use my debit card and it, it kept declining. So I'm like, why is my card declining? I know how much money I got on you. Come to find out, I forgot that I didn't tell my bank that I was going out of the country. And the crazy thing about it, you guys, it was a weekend and my bank was closed. So I couldn't even call them and tell them, hey, look, I'm in the Bahamas. I'm on vacation. You know, I need to use my debit card. So um, the funny thing about it is, the things that I was trying to purchase, I had to get the cash from my mom and give it back to her when we got back in the States. So when you go on vacation, when you go on abroad, Bahamas, Mexico, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, wherever, make sure that you not only you let your banks know for the currency, but also that way if you decide to use your debit card, you won't go through what I went through. <laughs> Um, you also want to create your packing list, you guys, and make sure that you have that handy as well. And you want to plan your um, excursions and adventures. You want to do that in advance, you guys. Don't wait to the last minute to plan. When you know you're traveling, when you're going on the cruise, you want to make sure that you already have your um, excursions and um, adventures already planned. You want to make specialty restaurant reservations to you guys. On a cruise, they have like so many restaurants that you can frequent deciding of what you want to do. But make sure that you have your specialty restaurant reservations in place also. Um, if you're like me and like the spa, you want to schedule a spa day. They have spa, um, spas on the cruise ship too. They also have hair salons and all that. Anything that you want to do, you guys, that you like to do, like movies, they have movie nights on the um, cruise. If you like karaoke, they have karaoke night. If you like the nightlife, they have the nightlife on your, they have um, everything on it. Champagne, if you like champagne, they have um, the champagne bar. They have bars all over the ship, but they have a nice champagne bar. And it's really nice on the cruise, you guys. But like I said, everything that you can imagine that you want to do, they have clubs, you guys, on cruise ships. Whatever you like to do, trust me, it's on the cruise ship. You would love to go on the cruise. Um, also, you want to stock up on your medications. If you're on a, any type of medications, as per doctor's orders, make sure that you stock up on your medications so you don't run out. If you forget anything like deodorant or toothpaste or anything like that, the cruise ship has stores on there too where you can buy that, but it's going to be costly, you guys. Anything that you buy on a cruise ship, expect it to be really, really expensive. So don't forget anything at home. Otherwise, you're going to be spending a lot of money on the ship to get it. And if you have something like motion sickness, you guys, make sure you bring that as well. They have it on the ship as well. but 
like I said, anything that you purchase on the ship, very expensive. Um, you want to gather all your electronic devices and chargers. Um, pack a day bag for embarkation day. And another thing, a very what's very very important, you guys, when you go on your cruises. They let you, when they dock, they let you off the ship. But my advice to you is when they tell you to be back on the ship, make sure you are on the ship. If they tell you to be, when they let you off, you know, when they dock, um, if they say be back at 2 o'clock p.m., make sure you back before 2 o'clock p.m. Because these cruise um, ships don't play, you guys. They will leave you and you will have to find your own way home. So my advice to you is, when you get off the ship, when they dock and they let you off for a couple of hours, make sure you're always back before, at least 30 minutes before. Because like I said, the cruise ship would leave you and you would have to find your own way home. So you don't want to go to Puerto Rico and they tell you be back at two o'clock and you come trotting back at three o'clock. Because guess what? The cruise ship don't left you. And yes, they did. Then I left you in Puerto Rico, and that means you're going to have to find your own way home. So that means you're going to have to fork out extra money to find your way back home. So when I say, when they tell you to leave uh, and get back on the ship at 2 o'clock, make sure you're on there at 1.30. Because this is going to give you extra time because when you're coming back on the ship, they're going to check and make sure you actually belong on that ship. So like I said, make sure you have all your documentation, your license, your birth certificate, your social security card, and your passport. Because they're going to check it to make sure that you're supposed to be on that cruise ship and make sure you back early. Otherwise, like I said, they will leave you and you will have to spend extra money to find your way home. These cruise ships don't play. And they tell you that too when you get on the plane. They go over all the rules, what they expect. And like I said, if you're not there, by the time they tell you to come back, you will get left and you will be in Puerto Rico trying to find your way home. And you can check in online, you guys. I hope this video resonated with you. Go ahead and share this video out to whoever you think it's going to resonate with. Once again, my name is Nicole Harris. I am a travel agent and I help mom and dads create life and time freedom online. Hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe um, button. That way when I go live for my tips and tricks and hacks, you will see me first and share this video out to whoever you think is going to resonate with. Thank you guys for tuning in to my content. Love you guys. Have a good one. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.